hello she is vlogging again um so it's been a while um maybe like a month or so i think i just really wanted um a month to live in the flat um not specifically without sharing i have been sharing on instagram and stuff um more just there was so much going on and i was getting so much done you know like the paint the floors the built-in cupboards um the bathroom everything i just needed to like literally catch my breath and be like no one else is here it's just me i can make this home for a bit so i've done that it's actually the first of february today so literally for a month um and it's been really lovely um but i i'm not i'm not not enjoying vlogging i just needed to kind of catch my breath i think especially with the the end of last year and everything that's happened at the start of this year i was a bit overwhelmed um like many of us um but there's lots of things that i want to show you and i'm really excited that have kind of changed since namely the curtains that i'm looking at behind my camera right now <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> um also the kitchen painting um has kind of come along quite far and a few kind of little other tidbits um that i have been um up to kind of updating i I'm excited for when we are out of lockdown because like, I want to get a few bits framed um, and things like that so I can't really do those um, to put them up yet but obviously uh, absolutely fine problem to have I can I can wait um, so yes welcome to this vlog and I hope you really enjoy it and then there's some new prints that I want to get done there's a trio of these um, from Thea Lini that I absolutely love um, that I want to put kind of on top of each other um, and keep that kind of textured side um, on the wall. This amazing <laughs> vintage um, playing card from um, that I got from Print Club London, um, which I think would be really cute and I'll give it quite a big border as well. And then a print that my sister got me for Christmas that I absolutely love from Hotel Magique um, that I can't wait. So these are kind of what I'm waiting to, to hit the framers for. So I'm kind of hoping to put this and there's two kind of slightly different party ones here um in the office kind of on this tiny little bit of wall there where the um the mirror and then the curtains are here because it's just like a tiny bit of wall and i thought it'd be nice to kind of make use of it and put some wonderful art there as well so i was going to tidy up but then i thought well i'll show you what it's actually like um as you can see from behind me the office has also kind of turned into my gym a bit which i've been loving doing some pilates um keeping me a bit sane in lockdown so um that's what this is for but i guess might as well use the space and i just kind of clear up when i want to um when i want to shoot in it um so i kind of got my got my box of well my basket of like resistance band roller um and bits like that my yoga mat and my um swiss ball it's my first morning with the curtains the tv's still here which i hate because <laughs> this is going to be put in here um in a couple days just yesterday we were focusing on getting the tracks up um i'd say it was simple enough but simple enough with someone that knows all about drilling holes um and weight bearing so i was very much grateful for my brother-in-law but i absolutely love the fabric it's pretty much a very close colour to the walls. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see here, it's a pretty perfect match. So this is Farrow and Ball Dimity, and this was the cotton weave in ivory. Um, and I love that they're wave, um, so there's a bit more texture as well. Um, and I thought that would hide the TV better, because um, as you can see, like the light does come through a little bit. And if there was like the TV behind, I don't want like a shadow of a TV here. Otherwise, it would be kind of pointless. You might as well just have the TV on show. Um, but it has been lovely having a bigger screen, um, I will say. It feels like very homey. Love this here with it. Um, I think I maybe did like a s slightly too long, but I feel like these this side looks better. Maybe it's just because it's more bunched together. I think it just does need like a bit of time to get used to drop and I'm, I'm kind of sorting out the waves. Um, and I think I will give it a steam as well, just because like on some bits, it's just like quite crinkly, which isn't like, I'm sure that would naturally drop, but just to kind of help it um, fall more um, naturally. But let me get back and try and see if I can get the whole rim in. It definitely makes it so, so cozy, um, which I love. 
and I love that from when I come in when I used to see the blind here so I'll come down the stairs and then suddenly it's that rather than loads of wall and that really ugly blind that I'm <laughs> happy we got rid of um so yes that's my little curtain update showing you these and I actually filmed taping them up but it was all blurry basically uh, it's kind of giving you a bit more info showing you a bit further away um, showing you that the TV is going to be in here um, this one was so scary when I first got it because um, I mean only about two days ago when I first got it it's because of the way they send you like double um, the amount so that you can wave it and so this one was four meters long and it was just like the biggest heaviest bit of fabric and i was like oh my gosh it's going to be so overwhelming and it's going to look so heavy and even when i put it up i was like that's really big because i got three panels because you can't put them that side because it, it'll just go into the shelf and be annoying and i was thinking maybe i put the bigger one like another end but actually i think it's good here because it's already squashed down like so much like the fact that it can be that thin that hook's come off as well i need to do that um, but basically someone on Instagram kindly said that to get the wave um, you need to tape them um, for a few days so I'm going to leave them like this for a few days <laughs> it's actually probably quite good for when we put the TV up because then they'll be out the way um, so I've got the TV I just need to put the um, the wall mount up again when I say I I do not mean I I am not skilled with the drill sadly um, but luckily I have an amazing brother-in-law who's great at that, so um, <laughs> that's what brothers-in-law are for, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave these like that and kind of show you um, later on in the vlog when I've left them for two days, once I've got the TV up as well, so it'll kind of be the after as well. Um, today is Monday, getting stuff done, starting a vlog, woo! <laughs> it's February, so I think I've already said that in this vlog. But I feel way more productive. I think that we all need a January to like a little bit. So let's get going now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this one now because it's absolutely huge and definitely needs a bit. I think I could have maybe gone a little bit shorter because they said for wave or like for this room, it'd be good to have them like just above the floor. But there's something about that that feels a bit too... Um, like hotel like for me and I don't want it to feel like too like done I want it to be cozy and the, there's I, I don't mind curtains pulling I've got the ones in my cut in my, my bedroom that pull um, and it's not too much I think it was just before they were in the way they looked really like they're gonna go everywhere but hopefully um, once I've got this done um, and I quite like the poof here for the moment because even when the TV's there um, this is the Ottoman that I got from Melly Melly that I get 10 million questions about a day and it's so cozy. It's also so light, like it's just like a big cushion. I thought that it would be so heavy, um, like considering its size, but it's really not. And it's really cute. Um, so I might keep it there, in fact, even when the TV's there, because the TV will be like that kind of height. Um, I've also been warned by a few friends, which is so true, not to put TVs too high on the wall because then when you're sitting on the sofa you have to um, look up which hurts your eyes so actually to go lower so I'm going to put it like here so that will be there but they'll be hidden behind the curtain um, when it's both sides obviously when it's behind there and then I'll put the coffee table maybe a bit more like here because I don't like everything in one space you want to be able to get around but I don't know maybe I'll put this back in the corner who knows, I'll show you <laughs> when I decide. Um, so curtain wise, I got cotton weave, um, which is lined, mainly so that there's no discoloration from the sun, but also because these, um, such my nose are so lovely and old, but they do not bode well for cold um, days that, you know, that they just have a few gaps in and they rattle a bit. So it's actually quite nice to have that as, the curtains is like an extra layer of, um, of warmth on the house. 
um, you can literally sometimes feel like the cold breeze coming in and it's like a bit much. <laughs> um, so that will be nice. Um, but I'm, I haven't had like a sunny day with the curtains up yet. So I'm excited to see how that looks with the sun coming through when it's, you know, makes me think of summer. And um, I got tracks so that I could put them along the whole way. So like even this, and I'm scared to do it in case, I can go like this. Oh, that fits really well actually. I haven't done that yet. Oh, you can't see that. So that they fit over there the whole way, um, if I want to, um, so that they can just move um, quite easily across the room um, to give me more options of like, um, not filing curtains for one day or whatever it might be um, or if I want the space more just to give myself options rather than kind of having them around the windows and then them kind of being in the way of the TV or like whatever that is um, so yeah I feel a bit more they've been up two days now and I feel also I got ivory so that it's a similar color to the dimity and I got cotton weave which I really like um, and that's it for now. Um, I'm excited for when the TV's in and I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one up now um, so that, that is done um, so that they can all be taped. Which I means I guess I won't have curtains for a few nights, but luckily this radiator's there. <laughs> so I've painted a, another layer, well, a first layer on this area of the base coat from Bauwerk, which is the kind of lime wash prep because it's going from a kind of oil-based one that I'm guessing they had on this wall which is like that color, I haven't quite managed to get up there yet. And this was my like tester panel um, of the color, which is persimmon, um, which is over here. Um, and this is, yeah, the, um, the prep for underneath. Um, so that's what I've done. Kind of, um, I didn't do it like perfectly last time because I knew that it was gonna be textured on top and it, and it kind of turned out fine. I think I will do another layer, um, obviously up there I didn't finish, but over here um, to kind of perfect that a bit, but obviously it's not meant to be perfect, so I have to keep that in mind. So I kind of did all the way around here, um, and then still need to kind of do like within these bits, but I'm gonna cut into them a bit more um, daintily um, when I have some more um, masking tape, which I'm gonna go buy now. Okay, so coat two on this wall looks so good. It definitely, because I had I just did the sample pot here and the, the top was a bit bare. Um, I've just done that bit, that's why it's a bit darker, but it's drying really nicely. And it is over here as well. That's the first coat, so I'll leave it for one day um, and do it again tomorrow. Definitely <laughs> having this has made such a difference. Um, and I've managed to do from one pot. I did that wall went over this one, did around here. I still need to base that, that's why that's done, but I've done all around here as well. Um, so it really spreads really easy because it's so watery um, and that allows you to do it. It's probably taken me um, just over an hour. So for considering how big the room is, it's really not that long. Um, let me show you from this side. Oh, that looks so nice now. Um, come on. There we go. Um, still trying to figure out how to get up here, but we'll ignore that for now. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but it looks so nice around the window and having the lamp there as well, and just like all up here. Um, it makes the whole room look really, have a really different vibe, which I love. I just wanted to show you this. I'm just, there's a tiny little bit left, so I'm just gonna decant it back into the pot. Um, you can really see how kind of powdery um, it gets at the bottom. So it's really important if you look there to really mix it as you're using it because I think that's where the main pigment is, which is kind of why before when I had that, it was a bit um, uneven. Also, after what I shared last time about the other painters getting stuff all over these, I made sure to unscrew them and put masking tape around them so that I didn't, um, get them really dirty again because that was really annoying me from last time um learned my lesson there i guess hello it's um th thursday 
and I've got some updates for you. I've also got this balloon in my face, which was why I was just moving around a lot. Um, ha, I can see my friend out the window, also funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> I have had my brother-in-law around, AKA my wonderful handyman um, that I trust and is happily part of my bubble. So it makes things a lot easier these days. Um, and we have put the TV up. It is mounted on the wall. I am very excited to show you. And there is also some updates in the studio. We changed a few things. Um, well, one main thing, um, which I will show you after I've shown you the TV. So look at this. These are the curtains. They've been trained. And look what's inside now. Woo! The TV. I'm so happy. Um, I'm still going to have to sort out hiding the wires a little bit here, but that's very minimal. I'm so excited to have a movie night, probably tonight, because <laughs> you can see the reflection of my um, sofa there as well. Nice having a table back as well, a nice little um, coffee table. I've put the ottoman here for the moment um, just because I also need to get another extension wire so I'm kind of hiding the extension lead that I've had to use um, but yeah super happy with how this looks super sleek really nice I'm excited to get the sofa bed out which is here and watch a film and then when I'm not using it pop these back so so easy You'd never know. So that's it without the TV showing. Love it. But in terms of mounting it, um, got this like universal mount thing um, from John Lewis. I'll link it below. And you literally just like drill in. Again, my brother in ordered this, not me. <laughs> <laughs> for full disclosure um but they have all the holes ready so like we just figured out the space in between um that fits the size of my tv it's for all tv so it's really handy um and then if i want to kind of see maybe the mechanism here and then if i want to like lift this up to put a wire in then i can so it's kind of attached at the top rather than at the bottom but there is like things to stop it um hurting the wall damaging the wall um, which seemed really complicated at first, I'm not going to lie, they say it's really easy, but it was a weird design. But when once it makes sense, it makes sense, I'll say, and the video they have on the John Lewis site is really handy for it. And I'm very, very excited. Okay, so another new aspect to the office studio is I've put up another cabinet in here. <laughs> um, mainly because I have so much beauty storage well, products for work, so I need good storage. And I had this um, wire thing up there, which is great because I can see loads of products, but on the wall, like when I came in, it was quite busy. And so I'm hoping this, this is another great West Elm one, I'll link it below, will be a little less, because um, I can hide lots in there, will be a little less busy. And then it also gives me another nice space for my job to take photos here. I did not mean to match my job exactly to the color of the wood, but look. I did, <laughs> probably because I only wear certain types of colours. Um, so yes, I'm gonna put some products in there now and I think it'll look really nice because I've got the kind of dark, um, the West Elm, that's their shelves as well, and the warmness of the pink. Um, my mum's um, painting in the middle, which is kind of woody, which I quite like. Um, and then we've got the curtains over here, which then lead to this. There's lots of boxes at the moment, but it'll be like this. Um, and I think that just looks really sleek in the background here as well, because before it was kind of too, too busy, the other one. Um, so yes, I'm going to, I'm going to fill that up now. Whew. There's been a lot going on today. This, I've done, I've done this. This has all been done, let's say, in the same day as the TV going up. Um, and lots going on in my mentorship group as well. Um, so it's a busy day, but I'm gonna fill this up now so that I can put some product in there and um, not have quite so much on the floor because it's a real mess at the moment. Look at this. I mean, there's all these boxes. That's the curtain box, TV box. And then um, 
this is some of the product that I took out of the uh, wire shelf that I want to put into the, the cabinet. Um, but yeah, once I move that, this will look nice as well. And then just accepting that a few of my Pilates things are going to be in here. So this is the kitchen, it's looking great and pink. This one dried kind of funny, huh? Comparison to that, I still need to do up there with the ladder. Let's, I'll just keep it lower <laughs> so you can't see that bit. It dried a bit more different. I think the pigment or something must have split. So that's more the white pigment than that's the dark pigment. And I don't know whether to go over it again because then I'm worried that it'll all be one colour and I'd rather it had some of the dark because the pink is a bit like too girly pink for me. Um, and I think I'm going to put a rail there. So I'm thinking I leave it and I put the rail up and then if I really hate it after a bit I've got a bit of the paint left over so I can just do it again but I'm going to see living with it because I don't want to like it to all be lighter. I'd rather it looks like way more textured and I really like it. Um, like that with the cupboard there, I got the fridge. Um, also was so happy with my um, masking tape. Look how straight that is. That never happens, actually, I lie, there's a little bit here. But I was really happy with that and going around the um, radiator as well. It's really hard to not get a shadow on this wall, but that's fine with me. Um, yeah, I really like how it looks. I've got it all around there. I still need to do it in here, I know. But all around. <laughs> Just been doing the bits that I have the patience for at the moment, basically. Um, but yes, it's looking very homey indeed and so much warmer. It's actually crazy how much warmer it looks. So it's the evening now, but I just want to show you what it looks like when they're fully clothed, closed, not clothed, well, clothed in a way. Um, when it's like the whole side of the room. I wish this camera could do wider. Here you go, that gives you a good idea. Um, feels really nice and cozy, but also opens it up a lot, I feel. And that's it. That's it with the TV out when the curtains are closed as well Ta-da! okay so i realized i hadn't done a wide shot of the studio for quite a while um so here we go i tidied <laughs> this side of the room anyway um pop my gym stuff a bit more neatly over there love having the shelves over there um kind of lifts that bit of the room as well and i'm loving this here now as well and I like that I can see the lamp and this stuff in the background of the um, mirror. <laughs> um, I honestly, yeah, I'm so happy with this. It looks so much, so much neater. Um, and then here I've got the window and I kind of tend to keep this one closed. That one I kind of have open more because there's a tree outside of it. But this kind of goes on to like someone else's window. So I like having the like sheer linen here. Um, that then like still lets a bit of light in. If I need more light, obviously I just open them. It's not like a huge thing, but it's just like without worrying, I can just not be, you know, accidentally getting changed or like even just like someone watching me makes me feel a bit weird. So I have the Shearer linen ones. These are just uh, H&M, I think. Um, whereas the pink ones are secret linen store. Whew. And that's my tidier office. Studio office, it's looking good. See, this is where it's getting to be um, a bit messy, but I guess that is the point of this room is to store all those things for me. So um, it's okay if it's full of them in a way, <laughs> as long as I can have little areas like this that look a bit nicer. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I really love these floating shelves. They give it such a good effect. Um, I've just got a few little bits on there, print of mine, um, a few perfumey bits and books and, cameras and flowers and all the good stuff 
Um, and then this is a cupboard a few people were asking actually. Um, that's not the door. The door is here to the hallway. This is a cupboard which is a bit damp but I've just put like coats in coat bags in there and then like the mop and bigger things that are taller because I don't have another like hide hideaway storage cupboard like that that's that long um so I kind of um, have used that for that and that's just actually I need to get rid of that it's the old um blind pole from the blinds it's not a blind pole <laughs> um so yeah it feels a lot more like home um and I can actually work here which is lovely always a good thing so I've put the clock back and there all the bits along here um, and then also put a few prints up here and I feel like it makes it look a lot more kind of lived in um, which I really like um, and I think I really like that plant there now as well. Okay so I've borrowed this ladder from my friend who luckily lives two roads away so I'm going to put the base coat up there today just quickly um, so that that can be done and I can finally patch in this bit of wall that I keep having to hide um it makes the room feel a little bit more unfinished whereas this would be a much nicer vibe all all over so that literally took me two minutes i can't believe i've been putting off for so long um it's just i it's not a super dark color but i just want to put the base coat on just so that the paint sticks better to um a lime wash base um so it doesn't have to be like the most smooth looking job because obviously this looks imperfect too so you know you can kind of be a bit haphazard which works for me and now because i stop from behind the hob i'm going to do the base there as well look what just got here a wonderful surprise from my lady garden thank you kai you guys know i love these flowers she does the most amazing bouquets and this is one for valentine's day wow just to give you a face bouquet ratio it's so big <laughs> it's so huge i love it. it smells amazing too okay but dream saturday afternoon finally watching a film ice age because it's on cheap tv with this view with a giant bowl of pasta la vie est belle so there has now been an alarm going off next door for over a day i don't know if you can hear it it's through this wall um, no one lives there. I <laughs> don't know what to do. <laughs> ah, but anyway, um, this is me signing off this vlog. Thanks for watching. I won't, um, make you listen to an alarm any longer. And um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please do. And I'm going to post a before and after today of the full, um, kitchen on the flat upstairs, which is my home account. So, um, make sure you go and check that out too. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend.